Nelly Deutsch, as you can see in the image up above. And uh, this is Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning, where educators from around the world teach and learn together on how to integrate and improve their teaching and students' learning. So we're going to go into the EVO 2012 Moodle for Teachers online workshop that is completely free. And uh, as I go through the center of the Moodle website, I'm going to access this particular workshop. There it is, Moodle for Teachers EVO 2012. I'll click here and go into the class. Okay, now the class is very active. There are over 100 participants, all trying to be as engaged as they can. However, since um, the course is free, someone has unintentionally, of course, added a script to the sandbox. The sandbox offered students a chance to uh, roam freely, create, and do everything they wish to do as teachers with full editing rights. Now, what better way to learn Moodle? However, this does not mean that you can do whatever you want and spoil it for the others. So in order to help you manage the course, I'm going to go through the various weeks as you and show you as a Moodler how you can make the most out of this free online Moodle for Teachers workshop. So let's scroll down. Okay, there's a lot of information. So uh, be ready to read and not be afraid of whatever is there because it's not going to hurt you. So have fun. All right, so let's scroll down as a Moodler. Okay, there's a chat box on the left here that you can um, stay connected. We found different ways for you to stay connected, but sometimes having lots of multiple ways can be confusing for many online learners. So we really have to be careful how much information we offer, even if it's for everybody's individual learning style. Okay, so we're going to, again, go in the center of the page and access week two. So let's scroll down. All right, week two started on the 15th of January. So we're finished with the first week. Lots of activities, lots of fun, great interactions among the participants who are all teachers, mostly teachers of English as a second or foreign language. Okay, so Moodle has, yes, it has a long scroll. There's a way to avoid this. You can, of course, go into the sections and it'll take you directly to the week. But let's take a look at January 15 to January 21st, week two of the workshop. So here we are. There is a video here. Okay, this week, this is what you had to do. Okay, a little bit of reading, a little bit of watching. Here are the headings. WizIQ Live week two class that took place. You can uh, listen to the recording. And then another label, discussion forums for week two. Two discussion forums, one for the whole class and one for the Moodle buddy forum, where everyone can see who their buddy is by going into their profile. And then they'll see under their profile for this class, they'll see their buddies. Click on the buddy and see who's on your team and connect. Now, not everybody's active. Not everybody wants to be active. So it's sometimes necessary to rearrange the groups because uh, things change. Life comes in and some have to drop out. Next label, resources and activities on the Moodle for week two. So read, watch and read, read this. Next label, individual and team assignments for week two. Two assignments. One, lesson plan. Create a lesson plan for your sandbox section. Okay, so before you go into your sandbox, find out what you want to do with your partner. Okay, so this is a team assignment. 
Next assignment, which is also an upload. Individual assignment, Moodle Activities and Resources. As you know, Moodle is divided into activities and resources. Well, what are they? And what did you find in week one? In order to really understand activities and resources, you will have to go into the sandbox. And here we are, label, individual and class sandbox course. So here is the key for the course, and here is the link. So we'll go there in a second. And then checklist for week two. Go through the checklist and take this questionnaire to see if you finished it or not. And join the WizIQ for second and third week right here under third week. Live WizIQ class for week three and of course week two. And it's available. You can see all of this. Okay, so let's go to the sandbox. How exciting. All right, so here's the sandbox. Okay, so we're in the sandbox. Now, in the sandbox, we're teachers. So we're going to click Turn Editing On. Oh, but there's this annoying script that someone had unintentionally added. Okay, with the resource that they brought with them. Our tech support will take care of this very soon. In the meantime, click on Cancel and it disappears. It will do no harm and you can't add information to it because it will be wrong. And by the way, it came from a university in Brazil and um, we'll have to take care of it later on. So no problem. If you're okay with it, please be patient. A bit annoying, but we'll manage. Next, turn editing on so we can see the sections that you've added. Each section as you can see on the left, represents your Moodle Buddy number. And originally there were 50 Moodle Buddy groups for the 150 participants. You can see who's a participant currently in the sandbox and who's online. Okay, so make sure you don't put too many things that are too wide in the center because that takes away the right part of the Moodle. So let me make it smaller. You can do the same thing. Okay, make it smaller. Let's go to the actual size so we can see the right side of the sandbox Moodle course. Okay, so this is administration. Um, you won't see this. I'll show you what you will see. Okay, because I've taken away some of your rights as teachers uh, because of the um, people who took advantage, whoever they are and added our script and other things that we had to get rid of. So yes, a lot of work when you provide free and uh, give access to people to do as they wish. Okay, so um, you have to keep that in mind when you give your teachers and your colleagues uh, editing rights in any of your Moodle courses. All right, I've never had problems with this and I've been doing this since 2006, but things change and there are different people everywhere. So here we go. Uh, this is what you will see. Okay, this is your role as the Moodler, and you have limited teacher rights right now as a result of the person or people who added uh, malicious uh, HTML codes. Okay, so um, as I said, these are the sections, and you go into one of your sections. Let's take um, uh, section here, K okay, Moodle Buddy 1. Now, in order to start this, you can view it, but in order to really get the uh, hang of it and see what's going on, we're going to click on Edit. Okay, whatever role you happen to be, you need to edit. Even I need to edit when I come into this. Okay, so I'm going to click Editing On. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go into, okay, Editing is on. And we're going to go into the two major parts of any Moodle. There's the annoying script, and that is these two. Add a resource, one menu, and the other menu, add an activity. In short, we call them resource and activity. Content, that's the resource, and activity are the activities that you'll want your students to do. 
in a Moodle course. So we've just opened up Add a Resource. These are some of the resources that this particular Moodle has. You can add more. And you're going to practice the following. Not all of these. You're going to practice compose a, a text page, link to a file or a website, and that's it. And label, of course. Okay, label, link to a file or website, and that's it. Okay, in the activity, you're going to practice advanced uploading of files, upload a single file, chat if you wish, choice, yes, definitely, forum, glossary, wiki, and WizIQ Live class. None of the others because we are not using these in the main classroom and you are going to practice what you use in the main classroom. So the activities are again are choice, forum, glossary, wiki, and with IQ Live class, and that's it. I'm going to write it in the chat box, okay, just so you'll remember. It's, sorry, I forgot the upload. Upload file for a choice, sorry, choice forum, forum only one, the general forum, wiki, and with IQ live class and that's it those are the activities and in the resources you're going to practice label add link or file and that's it okay that's it only that's what we use in the main class when that's what we want you to practice if you want it in the sandbox, if you want to go on, you'll be happy to, um, you know, have you in our other workshops, our orientation, beginners, intermediate, advanced, and admin for teacher workshops. So you're welcome to join them. You can email me or Ludmilla, or you can just find them in the main uh, classroom, okay, in the main page of this Moodle website. Okay, so again, upload file, choice, forum, wiki, with IQ, live class, that's all. And label, add a link or file. So it's not that major, um, and it avoids confusion at this point. Your assignment for week two and for the sandbox is to create a lesson. Okay, so to create a lesson, you will need to add content, resources, label, and link to a file or a website. These are the two resources you will add. And then get your students engaged with choice, forum, glossary, wiki, and with IQ Live class. So enjoy the process. Ask questions, and you can go back to the main class to ask your questions. And they are, okay, in the support area. So after the introductions, okay, you will find your support. Now, if, if you're finding it difficult to scroll and you're looking for a forum, okay, a discussion forum, you don't need to worry. The sections for week Week 1, Section 1, Section 2, 3, and 4 on the top left-hand side of the Moodle course page, just above the chat. You can always ask questions here. And then activities, very important. If you want to see what assignments you have for each of the weeks and what you haven't done, let's say, forums, glossaries, questionnaires, resources, wikis, and WizIQ, and that's it. Okay, so if you want to know administration, you can go into your grades and profile and check what's there. 
So have fun. Keep asking questions. Access the activities. 